Welcome to Free MMO Station. My name's Skyline, and today we're going to play a new free to play arena shooter called Toxic. FreeMMOStation.com Alright friends, jumping into the game, let's play some Toxic. Right, okay, well what can we do as a free-to-play player in Toxic? Because this is really more like an extended demo, but it's done properly. Demos normally, uh, from what we know in the 90s, you know, single-player games, you get sort of like a section of the game, or you know, some very specific level or something like that. In a multiplayer game, you know, in the generation we have now, a lot of games are multiplayer. How do you do demos properly without, you know, making it pay to win or something, you know, some sort of weird free-to-play access? Well, that's what we got going on. We have a some some sort of weird free-to-play access thing, um, and there's like this big checklist of things that you get and you don't get, but I'll try to explain it the best I can that I remember. Um, but basically, if you're a free-to-play player, you can jump into multiplayer and you do quick join. You get all the full access to the game, every weapon, stuff like that. Apparently, you don't get every vehicle, and I don't know what that means, but you also don't get every map. So, you are kind of sectioned off from a lot of the other players in the game, but you're a free-to-play player, and you get to test out pretty much the full experience for free. Um, you don't get the server browser, you don't get to host games, you don't get to join games like that. Um, you don't get the campaign. You do get contracts. I don't know if you get all these contracts, or if it's just the tutorial. Um, and you get boot camp, but you don't, again, you don't get all the maps. I kind of wish, at least in boot camp, you got to explore the different maps. Um, but you don't. So here's a couple of different maps, and it depends on the game modes. So the maps are linked to the game modes. Um, and mutators, I don't think you can really test those out. Um, but yeah. Okay, so if you buy the game, you get the full access. You get to customize your character. You get access to the Steam Workshop and all that custom stuff. That's super neat. But if you just want to try the game and still be on a level playing field and play competitively and really get the full experience, at least, you know, the game feel of Toxic, yes, you can absolutely do that. And we will be showing that off. But I'm going to show you the tutorial. We're going to jump in here, go into First Impact start this. It's like a little tutorial, get used to the movement systems and all that stuff. We're gonna run through it and have some fun. Here we go. Let's do this. Now apparently, I don't know, it said that this is, is playable up to 16 players. Um, so the game can do AV8 CTF if you like big team battle, but we are gonna go through this tutorial here. You can read these signs. So, welcome to Red Cell. The course ahead is a qualification test. Reach objective A on the top of the construction site. As fast as possible, as you can see, there's a timer above us. Um, but we are just gonna be kind of doing our own thing because I already did a lot of this. So yeah, you get, you know, normal stuff, difficulty right there. Uh, and you know instructions real nice. So W and spaces jump. Wow Trust me guys. It gets pretty complicated um, as you would expect in an arena shooter uh, If you have played Unreal Tournament, you're gonna you know really appreciate this game It's definitely very much in the light of Unreal Tournament more so than Quake If you want to play a Quake like game, you might appreciate a couple of games coming out like uh, Diabotical or Reflex This is gonna be more Unreal Tournament ish, especially with the weapon design um, the overall movement mechanics and the inclusion of vehicles in some of the game modes Save point activated, and so we have elevator jump. Introduce us to some of the momentum mechanics. As you saw, we jumped up higher with the elevator. Pretty neat here. And here's the weapons! Trust me, the weapons are a big part of the game. Here we go, the dragon ear is a flamethrower. You can charge up, alt fire. Shoot a little uh, fireball. Pretty neat, every weapon has alt fires. Let's go get this guy, the violator. Oh yeah, oh yeah, here's the ravager guys. It uh... It's pretty, it's pretty fucking medieval right there. Okay, and you also have the pistol, which is basically McCree's. McCree's pistol. Okay, easy does it. Anyways, so here's the violator. Um, I, I like to call this the, the Call of Duty gun because it's got a noob tube. It's got a grenade launcher, and it's got a uh, automatic shots here. Or you can, you know, tap fire, but whatever. All right, the bullcraft. Bullcraft, uh, let's go switch to the bullcraft. This guy is a shotgun. It's all fire is a really risk reward kind of thing. So you have a normal shotgun shots. It's slow, reloads. Um, or you can choose to shoot more bullets. Hold on, let me switch back to it. My bad. Uh, with the uh, all fire. Way more bullets all at once. Maybe try to get that one shot. <laughs> um, but as you can see, it takes longer to reload afterwards. Here we go, the Stingray. I think this is like my favorite all-around weapon. Um, kind of like a pulse cannon. But then it has an instantaneous sort of sniper shot that you can utilize. Here's the Falcon. Now, this is the actual sniper of the game here. Falcon's a pretty neat. I think... I, I like using the Falcon, I like sniping a lot, so that and the Stingray I use a lot. Now here you go, you have variable zoom, zoom 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 Now watch this, there is actually going to be no headshots uh, in this game, so I'm going to... Just kidding, there is headshots. I just never got one until then. Look at that, <laughs> I learned things. Um, up until then, yeah, I, I get, getting headshots is very hard. So I normally play snipers in games, and normally it's so much more lenient. Yeah, okay. But if, if I were to just try like this, let's see. It's just, it's really hard. So right here would be a headshot in a lot of games. Um, I think it hit his chin, 
So yeah, to get headshots, you gotta really aim pretty close. Cause like, I played a couple matches and I hadn't gotten a single headshot, so that's nice to know now. Anyways, there's a Cerberus. This locks onto vehicles, um, but yeah, it's a freaking rocket launcher. Definitely gonna be bread and butter of the game. And this is the Hellraiser. Um, holy shit, this is crazy. It's a fucking nuke, man. Kaboom. Hell yes, man. Continuing on through the tutorial here, and yes, we will play a match afterwards, if we can find one. Now, the peak players so far um, has been around 100 players. For, I guess, reference, Battleborn's 500, so that's that's pretty freaking dead, guys. Evolve was considered dead with a couple thousand, so yeah. Alright, now we're gonna learn about double jumping, because double jumping is something that you can do in an agility-based shooter. Yes, you're gonna have some agile-based movements. Got a double jump. Um, so right here, we're gonna test our double jump, go a little bit further. Oh yeah, it's gonna be some really fun stuff coming up here, guys. But yeah, maybe with this free-to-play portion, we're gonna get more people trying the game, more people seeing that it's awesome and buying the game, and just overall more people in the population, which is what you want in a multiplayer game. So here's one of the vehicles, uh, instantaneous entrance, and controls are super intuitive. Super intuitive, easy to use. As you can see, UI's really sexy, overall. And yeah, just, just basic, it's like, yeah, we got vehicles. Tutorial super simplistic. Now let's go jump over here. Actually, what you're seeing me do right now is what we're going to be learning to do. So we have W or Shift W. You can also double tap in a direction, though I don't really suggest double tapping. Um, I, I suggest using Shift. Shift is really probably the more competitive way to utilize it. Um, and so you can jump. So what you want to do is Shift and Space. And I am dead now. Okay. Anyways, so what we're going to do is you... <laughs> You have to actually, um, you have a certain amount of time, and see, this is where the difficulty starts ramping up. This is actually, um, like, right up here, this is where it kind of failed. So, you want to do Shift W and then Space, like, immediately afterwards. Okay, maybe I'll make this or die, ah, and we made it. So, you have a very limited amount of time to do double jumps and stuff like that. Um, it's gonna get kind of crazy whenever we get into wall jumps, because, yeah, wall jumps are a thing. Okay, dodge jump zero two. Excellent, now try to vary the dodge jump to cover the last bit of this tutorial. I, I, I actually failed at this orange part here. I, I kind of don't really understand it. We'll try it a couple times, but we might, yeah, max difficulty here. Uh, we, I don't know, it's ridiculous. Uh, just go ahead and see if you, can, if you can figure it out. You know, if you can just figure it out. Um, finish the Caliber Pro track. So, um, let's just try to, uh... Okay, we made it, we made it through there. So that's neat, awesome. Right, um, but now we gotta do this wall jump thing. So you can wall jump. So if I jump against this and then, um, press, like, if, since I'm on the left wall, I press D and then jump. I see I can kind of jump off of it. And you can do that with your shift jump as well. Um, so now what we're gonna try to do is try to jump over there. And I haven't been able to do this. I spent a lot of time uh, trying to do it, but I, I don't know if we're gonna be able to do it. Um, okay. We're gonna be falling a lot. It's gonna be happening. Oh boy. But I think it's important. The nuances of arena shooters is what makes it. So I really want to kind of show off the nuances and then trying to jump in. Like, I, I don't understand really. Like it, it's, it's, it tells you a hint, you know, try to vary it, you know? So maybe, maybe shift jump and then jump off the wall or I, I don't really know. Maybe I could, maybe I should shift jump first. So we're going to try to shift jump, shift jump and then double jump off the wall or yeah, I don't, I don't really get it. It's pretty complicated. And honestly, that's how the people who play arena shooters, that's how they want it. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to exit and fail because we suck. So let's go exit. And we're gonna go to the main menu, and I just want to say, the polish of the game overall, graphics, uh, the sound design, all that's really good, even down to the menu. It's kind of like Crisis. whenever you move your mouse, it um, actually kind of moves with it. Just a lot of polish for the game, and it looks really good. So you can play solo, you can play uh, with bots on certain maps. Let's go try to jump into the multiplayer, because as a free-to-play player, this is where you're gonna spend most of your time. So we're gonna hit quick join, and I'm gonna show you, you know, the experience of what you might possibly have. Hopefully YouTube's compression and my recording, uh, it makes the game look pretty good, because the game does run exceedingly well. And I want to show that off and render render this out as best I could um, to really show off the game. So we're going to go to an EU server because apparently we don't have enough people playing in an NA. So we're going to go to EU server, probably going to play mostly with bots as well because there's really just not that many people playing the game. And right now, guys, you can jump into it literally right now, free right now. It's just not showing on Steam at the moment. So we're playing at, uh, have I played this map? I think I have played this map. Oh yeah, this is going to be, okay, this map doesn't have vehicles on it. Um, it's just straight up arena combat. Let's go. We got four people. I think these are players. Okay, we got. Oh, we only have one bot. So I jump in and let's just do our best, man. Let's just try not to suck. Oh yeah, jumped on the Cerberus. Oh yeah, and you can also go invisible. Don't know. I kind of failed to mention that a little bit. 
Oh yeah, got a kill. And I suicided. Yep, suicide is a thing. Get, oh, jump, jump on this, jump on this. Get it, get it, get it. Direct hit. Oh yeah, killed Murakami. Take that, kid. Let's kind of shoot some of these out here. Wait for the respawn. Shit. Oh, got him. I got somebody. I think, right? I don't know. I heard a thing. I heard a ding. Anyways, map is pretty small. Gonna be jumping off walls all over the place. Holy shit. It's crazy, dude. The the amount of intensity that the game has. Really good players are gonna be able to zoom around here. Just, just fly, man. So let's try to get some headshots. It's not gonna happen, but let's try. Try not to make too many grunting noises as we try to pick off people with our sniper. I really want to sit here um, so I can, you know, jump on them. But the jump pad's right there as well, so I think they will be able to kill us pretty fast here. Oh yeah, we get flanked too easily too. So the map design is, it seems pretty classic. It seems very reminiscent of uh, Quake or Unreal. It's its your arena shooter map design. Uh-oh, we're in trouble. Is this a bot? Pretty sure this is a bot. So let's focus on the player behind him. And no, I'm just gonna get blown up by the Cerberus. So that's gonna happen a lot. Um, as a new player, do expect you to suck. I mean, even if you have played other arena shooters before, if you're good at shooting, I play snipers in Overwatch at a competitive level. No, I still freaking suck, guys. Um, it's just how arena shooters are. It takes a lot of time, patience, learn the mechanics, the engine, the physics of the game, the different weapons, of course, the spawns. You just gotta memorize everything. It takes a lot of time and patience to play these games. And that's kind of why the population is so niche. It really is. But hopefully, we will see more players come into light here. I think that's a bot. Is that the bot? I don't know which one's the bot. Don't wanna die here. And I got, I got killed by the, I got pistoled with the Raven? Holy shit. Now the audio that you're hearing with the hit markers, it actually changes. Um, the higher is like how much damage you're doing. Um, so like low, low sound. Okay, my mouse is kind of messing up here. The low sound isn't going to be like a lot of damage. So ding, 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 direct hits. Oh, let's get this. Let's jump on this. Jump on this. Okay. And that's about to respawn. So I'm going to watch, I'm going to watch this. You got to listen out for people. That's a bot. Now you can actually change the different uh, settings on the bots. They can actually get pretty competent and pretty intense. Probably to the point of cheating. Um, but yeah, they, they're probably set on average or something. Alright, where is this guy? Where are we going? I'm trying to follow, but he's he's going ham. Bruh! Where are you going, dude? Holy shit. I'm coming to get you, man. Oh god. Oh, dude, he still got me. What, the crapples? And yeah, there's, uh, so far I've seen this game mode. I think there's basically deathmatch, team deathmatch, capture the flag, but it's called capture the cell. And I think on those maps, that's gonna be your vehicle maps. And there's one other game mode. Uh, it's probably gonna be like a, I don't know, king of the hill type of thing. Oh my God. I am getting wrecked. I really am. We're having fun though. Are you guys having fun? Uh, I'm having fun. Okay, Cerberus. I'm gonna jump on it. I'm gonna jump on it. No! Got it. Holy shit. Where did, he, where did the people go? Oh, wait, I'm gonna jump up here. Jump down, jump down. Oh, that was a direct hit though, but not a kill. See, the, the time to kill is pretty high in this game. It's pretty intense. It's no joke, man. Like, holy shit. How much, man? How much? Oh my god. It's just, like, if you're gonna kill somebody, you need to be right on them. You need to actually be good. Even if you get the jump on them. All right, I want to jump on the Cerberus. That's what I want to do. Come on, let's go. Cerberus, oh, yeah. All right, we'll quit out of here and try to get into a match with a uh, capture the flag. So I can show you that a little bit, okay? You guys don't mind. Let's uh, start with a Stingray here. This guy's moving pretty fast. He knows I'm behind him. He knows he's waiting for a power weapon or something. Okay, he, he's got a weapon now, but maybe he doesn't realize I have this. Oh my god, flamethrower! No! No! Oh, I got a kill though. Hey, 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 Is he behind me? Oh, he's above me? To the side of me? Where are they? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Damn it. So fast. Fuck it. Let's go. <laughs> Anyways, it's just ridiculous, man. It's just ridiculous. All right, okay. Mouse is freezing. It's whatever. Who needs a mouse in a FPS anyways? Yeah, so basically what you're watching is the game. Um, you do have vehicles and stuff. I do want to show that off though. Uh, there's different maps uh, that change aesthetically. You have your kind of metallic maps and industrial maps. You have like uh, kind of like Crisis or Far Cry looking maps as you kind of just saw right there. So let's go play solo onto some um, 
let's see, maps. I'm gonna show off the different maps here. You got like sort of natural, uh, rural maps, um, high sci-fi, high-end maps, I guess, like luxurious maps. Um, you have your wilderness maps. I don't have access to all the maps, and I do not have access to workshop maps, which is pretty cool. Community-made maps, um, which is definitely a lot of fun. So, let's see. Let's go with... We can probably go here. I know there's vehicles on here, so I'm gonna show this off, okay? So you have the bot skill. That's gonna range average is basically just super dumb. So we're not gonna we're not gonna do that. We're gonna we're gonna slide this up to in okay, maybe not inhuman. Maybe maybe not maybe not inhuman. Uh masterful. Number of combatants 16. So AVA is the max, it seems. I don't know if that can be modded or higher, but yeah. Um so we're gonna be playing cell capture. Let's go start. I'm gonna show you the vehicles, and that's pretty much all that you can do with the game. Um, yeah, it's kind of, I guess, simplistic, but, you know, with the map maker and then just the genuine polish of the base game. Yeah, it's not as, I guess, there's not as many maps or as many game modes as some other games, um, but it's just really well done and it does cater to its niche very specifically. So Unreal Tournament style arena shooter. That's what Toxic is. And it looks good. It plays good. I think it's, I think it's good. I, I think it's good, man. So let's go get him. This map is, is pretty fucking wild, man. Let's go get in this. Let's jump in this thing. Oh my god, we got a mech, dude. We hawking now. We Titanfall. Let's go. Oh, you got missiles and shit, too. It's ridiculous. And uh, it's just ridiculous, man. Oh, they've got... Missiles. Missiles? Oh, shit! Okay, we got, we got blown the fuck up. But that's okay, because that's awesome. We'll play this for a little bit here. Respawn! Oh my god, I'm gonna try to wreck this, uh, vehicle here. Now, the vehicles aren't invincible, obviously. You can take out the vehicles. Okay, we got a Falcon. Oh yeah, wait, switch to the Falcon, my bad. Try to get some snipes. Get some snipes in. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh yeah, we're doing it, guys. We're doing it. We're doing the things, guys! Oh yeah, Sniper was really coming to life here. There we go. I'm defending my point. Alright, let's go try to capture the flag. Let's get at least one flag captured for you boys. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh shit. Yeah, so you want to definitely try to be uh, dodging whenever you think you're about to get hit. Stuff like that, obviously. Um... You're seeing, yeah, my mouse is, di is just fucking up right now. I need a new mouse. Give me a like and subscribe if you want to give me a new mouse, guys. Okay. Oh, uh, they returned it. It returns pretty much instantaneously. I like the colors. I like the graphics of everything. Let's go jump on this. Try to get it. The dragon here. Just do a couple of big shots here. Okay, got the bullcraft. Maybe that's a good idea. Switch to the bullcraft. Or not. Oh, but we should go invisible. Let's go invis Oh, wait, what? Go! Oh my god, the bot is just team deathmatching. No! It's Overwatch all over again. No, go! Leaf! Leaf! Oh my god. Anyways, I'm Skyline Shore, and I'll see you guys again next time.